Okay, so this is uh, the tutorial series where we're making Pong, and now we're going to work on the menu. So in this uh, in this game, the way we're going to set it up is the menu is actually going to be separate from uh, the level here for the player one or uh, one player version of Pong. Uh, the menu is going to have three different options. It's going to be uh, the option to play a single player game, a two player game, and to set up the actual controls um, that will be visible to the player. So that way they know how to play. Let's go ahead and set that up. First thing we're going to do, just to make it easy, under levels here, let's go to file, new level. Make this an empty level. And inside this empty level, we're going to not do too much at the moment. I think what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and we'll go over to blueprints, right click in blueprints. Oh, I'm sorry, before we do that, let's just go ahead and save the level. Hit control S, or uh, rather go up to file, save, save as. This will be menu. Cool. So now if you go to content, you can grab menu and put it in the levels folder. Back to what I was originally saying, go to blueprints folder, right click, and you want to go under uh, user interface, and you want to go create blueprint widget. That's exactly what we want. I'll make this BP uh, Pong menu. How about Pong HUD? Cool. BP Pong HUD. Double click on that. And you open up UMG, which is the uh, the internal editor that Unreal provides with you, because uh, they're awesome to make all your awesome menus and HUDs and cool stuff like that. So first thing we're going to do is we want to make uh, a few different things. We're going to need some text. We're going to need some. Uh, we need some buttons. We need a few things. But to, to get around that, let's go ahead and just see what it's going to look like. We're going to go ahead and jump right in here, and we're going to go ahead and just type in text. We want text, just the plain old text. Drag that down to the canvas panel. And you'll see that'll kind of just make this little thing in the corner here. Take that guy, and this is actually the uh, the anchor, so when the if the screen gets smaller or bigger, this will be the point in which it, you know, kind of moves from, if that makes sense, hopefully. Like, you know, if I anchor this to this corner, and this corner moves in here, this block will move proportionate to that corner. If I put this anchor up here, as this part, as it, you know, as the screen gets smaller in this axis, like let's say you're scaling the window, this will move proportionate to the top of the screen. So let's go ahead and grab that. And uh, for this, this, it doesn't really matter where you put it. But I think in our case, we're just going to put it at the center here because this is going to be at the center. What is this text block going to be? This is going to be the title, the uh, the awesome title of our game. So we're going to click Size to Content. That automatically makes it so that the block fits uh, perfectly within it. And then we're going to scroll down here, and there should be an option to actually center it. There we go. Inside the text block, this is where the text is. Type in whatever you would like, but I'm going to type in UE4 Pong. Awesome. Go ahead and grab that guy, drag him a little more center, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then we're going to change the size of the font up to be way, way bigger. That might be a little big, so let's make it a little smaller, maybe like 120, something like that. Um, hold on one second, let me just double check here. What's a good size for this guy? Yeah, like, you know, 120, let's go with something like 83, actually. How about no, like 85. Yeah, that's a good size for him. And so now we've got a little a little title here. Move it down a little bit. And we'll make some buttons. Drag those under the canvas panel. See the little thing will appear over here. And you also want to go to text. And drag that text inside the button. And then if we hit into here, we can just go ahead and see the button size, size to content. Looks pretty good. Let's change that text to something like play. One player. And we can make this much larger. Let's see, what's, what's a good size for that? Maybe something like 40. Yeah, 40 is probably pretty good. And we'll center that guy up. That looks pretty good. Centered, centered. We'll also need to drag his anchor to the middle. Once again, like I said, this doesn't matter too much because but for what we're using, but it'll just make it so that you know the center is kind of where it's anchored to. Uh, sometimes it does make a difference. That looks pretty good to me. But before we go further, let's go ahead and we'll get him pretty centered. Let's make this look more like the menu I want to check out. If you looked on my Twitter before I posted these tutorials, I had kind of a, a reference that I'm using for this. Uh, the way it looked is I didn't have the button actually have a color like this. I had the button uh, just white, and then when you clicked on it. It had a little like white background that popped up. So let's make that do that. We'll go into the style here. Go to normal. We'll set the normal tint 
opacity down to zero. But then, on hovered and pressed, these all look fine to me. Actually, let's make hovered. We'll make that like ten. We'll make that like point one. And you'll you'll see what this looks like in a little bit. So we got player one, and that looks like a pretty good setup there. It's a pretty simple menu, and we'll take that guy. Go ahead and copy him, and then we'll right-click on canvas panel and paste. We get another guy over there. Go into him. Change this to two-player. So this will be the button that will actually allow us to have a two-player game, which we'll add functionality for in just a few tutorial videos. And then we'll go ahead and copy, paste, and we'll make one more of these guys and one more of these uh, images. Make sure you grab the button and not the text. And we'll make this label controls. Oh, in case you're interested, by the way, if you want to rename these, you totally can. The way you rename them, um, the way I found that you can do it, is uh, if you click on it once, and then click on it again a little bit later, like it doesn't need to be a little delay, then you can rename it to whatever you want. But for now, this is just, uh, this will be fine with whatever the names are automatically. Put him right there. Hey, you got a nice little menu here. So when we have the controls pop up, what do we want to have happen? Well, we want to have it so that the actual uh, little kind of sub-menu appears. And the way that it appears is we'll make a new panel. So we'll go to Canvas Panel right here. Or actually, we don't need to do that. Go up to here and type in Panel. And so this will be a new little screen that will contain all of our elements right over here. Let me just grab this guy. And inside here it'll say like, oh, you know, left paddle, W and S to move up and down, right paddle up and down to move up and down. I'll show you how this looks in a second. So we'll make this little panel. This will just control this will just contain the other objects. We'll move his uh anchor to the center because we want to kind of be anchored to, you know, where these things are. And inside here, let's go ahead and just create a new uh let's see, let's see text. Yeah, with text in there. So align size or align sorry inside here. Size the content. And we'll make this L paddle. Let's try and make it easy to read and uh, straightforward. And I think for this guy we'll make it something like maybe like 35 in size. I don't know what these guys are, 40. Yeah, it's a little smaller, but you know, enough to be differentiated. And then go ahead and copy and paste and that will appear right there. So that's another great thing about the panel. It'll appear inside that panel of appearing in the top corner. And inside of here we'll put another little label under there. We'll make this uh, a size 25. Move that over a little bit. And we'll just name this uh, maybe like W and S slash S. You see probably what I'm going for with this, you know, it's going to be like, okay, so the left paddle is controlled with W and S. Okay, not too bad. Grab these two guys, copy, right click on this guy, paste. Grab them from there. Drag them down. And inside of here, we'll just do up slash down. And we'll rename that to right paddle. Cool. So that looks like a little bit of a menu we got going there. Um, we could rename these. Uh, maybe we'll do that. We'll go ahead and rename the basics, uh, at least these guys, so that it makes a little more sense. No, actually, that does make sense. That's fine. We've got all our buttons here, we've got our menu set up. Looks pretty cool to me. So, we go ahead and hit compile and save. Right now there's no functionality in this menu, but we just want to see if it actually, you know, shows up. Go to our menu, and inside here, we're going to be editing the level blueprint. So we open the level blueprint right here, and uh, just go ahead and do that. We're going to be uh, using some of the things that we've already uh, worked with in uh, previous tutorials, or in previous series. We're going to be setting up a static camera that looks straight down. First way we're going to do that, we're going to go into camera. Uh, oops. Camera right here. Grab that guy. And I'll try and take the same approach. So it looks like he's facing the right direction. That's good. Go into perspective. Rotate him so he's facing down. Zero out his zero out the position. That looks pretty good to me. And then we'll move him up quite a bit. And just for reference, let's see how big. You know, we'll put something in here that we we know for scale. Maybe something like. Let's see where what he's looking at there. 
Yeah. It'd have to be a lot higher than that. Oh yeah, okay. So something like that. That's pretty close. We'll, we'll get this all looking pretty in a minute. We just wanted to get a basic position. So we got our camera here. We're going to highlight the camera, and we're going to go into our level blueprint for the menu. Inside level blueprint, just like before, create a reference for camera actor, drag off of event, begin play, and we're going to do a set view target with blend, turn off context sensitive, right there. Plug him into there, get the player controller, right like that, and we hit compile, let's see what happens, right? So we should, if theoretically, when we hit play, get a little uh, screen that comes up, we don't have anything in the actual view, so let's put this guy down to something like zero, 00, we should see something, and in fact we do, so we know we're using the right camera, good, 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 alright, so let's go to the menu, and we've got our camera set up, now let's, let's implement our actual uh, GUI. Uh, or our, our, our HUD. What you do this is we're going to go ahead and right drag over here and type in create with the context sensitive on. Create, I think it will be widget, yes. Grab our class which is the BP Pong HUD and our owning, oh I'm sorry, no we don't need that. We got this all set up right here so this is going to create the actual widget so we can see it or it's going to it's going to make it in our level but then we want to push it to our viewport. All you got to do here is an add to viewport. I think I turn off that. Add to viewport. Target is this object being pushed to the viewport. And then one other thing we're going to need to do is just set it so that we can see our mouse cursor. So we can actually click around on it, do some stuff like that. Grab another copy of the Get Player Controller. Bring him over here. And there you go. So let's see what happens. If all has gone well, there you go. You have a menu. We click into it. Uh, make sure. Oop! Make sure you tick this for show mouse cursor. Hit play, and there you go. You got a little menu. And you see as I hover over, it's kind of got like that light hover. And then if you click play, it does that. So no functionality, but we do have our menu set up. Get rid of this thing here so you can see a little better. I guess uh, when you hit play, it just automatically does that. Much better. Okay, so there you are. We've got our menu set up, and now we've just got to add the functionality, which shouldn't be too bad. So in the next video, we're going to add the basic functionality of this. Uh, once we get that set up, we're going to set up the two-player version of it, make a few more tweaks, finalize this, and then that should basically be it. So thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this uh, video and this series, please let me know with a like and subscribe. And if you uh, leave a comment, I'd really appreciate it. As well as uh, I have fan funding set up, so if you uh, want to support the series and want to see me make more video games and more tutorials, I'd appreciate any help you can provide. Thanks a lot, and see you in the next one.